Okay, welcome to week two of English 12. This week the focus will be on personification, foreshadowing, and description, and you will notice a lot of all of those things throughout the novel, and we'll just highlight some of it this week. Um, so this week we're going to be reading the first four chapters of the second book of A Tale of Two Cities. And don't let that be confusing. The one book, the one novel that you have is divided into three, what Charles Dickens called three separate books. The reason for that is that this was published in a periodical. So people would subscribe to a magazine and they would get a few chapters, I think on a monthly basis, to read from the book. Um, book wasn't published all at once in a big novel. So he divided it into three books, but all three of those books are in your one hard copy. So we've read the first book, which is the first six chapters. Now we're going to start on book two and read the first four chapters of book two. Um, as you're doing that, I would suggest reading that first in the hard copy and then going into actively learn and completing your um, actively learn assignments. Remember to stop and watch all the videos um, from beginning to end and answer the questions to the best of your ability. Um, instead of doing a lot of little assignments this quarter, most of those assignments, your, your journaling and some smaller um, assignments on understanding foresh foreshadowing and things like that that I've had in the past years, I've now put them all into Actively Learn. So Actively Learn is uh, your main source of information for the novel. So spend time in Actively Learn because this is where you're going to be reading and understanding most of what you need to know this quarter. Anyway, you'll have an Actively Learn assignment on those first four chapters. And don't forget to do these check your understanding quizzes um, because you're going to be quizzed on both your reading from week one and week two this week. Um, after you've done your Actively Learn, you're going to watch this video on foreshadowing and personification, complete this assignment, which is a description word web, um, comparing a couple of descriptions in those chapters, and then you will have two separate quizzes this week. The first quiz is um, basically multiple choice from book one chapters one through six and book two chapters one through four. If you've done your check your understanding quizzes and you're actively learned, this should be really simple. And the second quiz will be an essay quiz and this quarter instead of doing a big paper um, we're going to be doing shorter writings throughout the quarter and so this is the first of those. It's a paragraph where you'll answer an essay prompt. Um, you'll bring in a quote from you're reading and explain it, at least one quote, um, to get full credit and just answer. You'll have a choice of two different essay prompts to answer in a long paragraph or two paragraph answer. At the end of the week, I'd like you to review commonly confused words um, just for your review um, to help you with your writing and, and grammar. And that is it for week two. Let me know if you have any questions.